Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about Global Server Load Balancing or GSLB. GSLB is a very popular technology found on most load balancers. And GSLB provides application availability when the application resides in multiple sites. And this is important because we need to have application availability across these sites for disaster recovery, for global presence, for geographic purposes, or any other reason. So in this case, in my example, I've drawn two data centers. One, they could be the cloud as well. But I have my application sitting in both data centers. And being a smart IT person, I have a local load balancer in each data center load balancing those servers. So how do the clients get to my two data centers and make sure that we get to the right data center? Well, we're gonna draw a load balancer here. And this is logical. It could be within the data centers as well, depending. And we're going to leverage DNS technology. We're going to leverage DNS. So when the client makes a DNS request, so the client is going to app.acme.com. The client is making that DNS request and it's going to go through the process of going through these DNS servers. The root DNS servers, the company servers, etc., and these DNS servers traditionally would give an IP address for that name, and then the clients would go to that IP address to hit the application. We're going to insert the load balancer into this process so that the DNS servers are going to forward the traffic to the global server load balancer, and the global server load balancer is then going to make the response and give the IP address that the clients are going to go to. This GSLB device is going to be doing health checks to these two data centers to say, are you okay? And if they are okay, then it's going to make a decision, decision based on the algorithms that you provide. So the global server load balancer is going to give out IP address A if it wants the client to go to data center A. It's going to give out IP address B if it wants the client to go to data center B. And then the client is going to make its connection to the appropriate data center. The GSLB device can be configured in multiple ways. So here's some of the really cool things. So if you want disaster recovery, so that all the traffic always goes to data center A. You can configure the GSLB device to say, I want to always send traffic and give a response of IP address A and send traffic to data center A. Unless data center A fails, the health check fails, and then I'm gonna send all the traffic to data center B. And when data center A comes back up, I can then either send traffic back to data center A, or I can wait for you to turn on a switch to say, okay, it's okay, data center is A is good, and then manually set it so that it can now start sending traffic back to data center A because you may have to do a lot of work if the data center failed and it came back up. You can do geographic things. So my data center A could be in say North America. My data center B is in Europe. And I have clients coming from the US and I'm going to think that I want to go to the data center in the US. The GSLB device can say, well, this client's coming from the US. I'm going to send the traffic to data center A in North America. So I'm going to give out IP address A. And if the client's coming from Europe, I can say, or the global load bouncer can say, send traffic to data center B, which is in Europe. So I'm going to give out IP address B. You can do lots of cool things with the algorithms with this DNS manipulation for global server load balancing to really provide that availability and scalability at the global level, at the site level that you had done traditionally at the local level with the load balancers. So global server load balancing should be an important technology for you to use when you're looking at and designing a truly available and scalable environment for disaster recovery or geographic locations for your application environment. Hopefully this was useful. Hopefully you understand now a little bit about global server load balancing and I look forward to seeing you on more of these sessions. Thank you.